In this video, we will cover the band theory for the semiconductors and solids. Now, we know that the isolated atoms, the electrons in the isolated atoms have discrete energy levels. Say for example, silicon. Silicon has 14 electrons. So, it has 1s2, 2s2, 2p6. 3s2, 3p2. So 1s, 2s, 2p, 3s, and 3p levels. There will be discrete energy, and the energy levels for the electrons in 2s would be same. Energy level for electrons, six electrons here would be same. Two electrons here would be same. Similarly, two electrons here and two electrons here. But this is the case with the isolated atom. Isolated. But in case of the crystal where there is no isolated atoms, there are atoms which are closely packed and closely spaced because of the close proximity of the atoms there is an interaction between like say this was one atom this is another atom having these energies so there is interaction and because of the interaction the energy level starts splitting so the energy level starts splitting and if we take the case of silicon silicon has 14 electrons and let us take let let there be n atoms and now we take 3s2 and 3p2 states because the interaction happens more with the electrons which are in the outermost shell there are four electrons in the outermost shell of the silicon atom and these outer shell electrons interact with the neighboring atoms and because of which the splitting takes place. So there are n times, there are n atoms and each atom having two electron in 3s so there are two n electrons and now here there are two n electrons but there are six n states which are available P has six states only two are filled and four are empty so two n filled states and four n empty states and this 3s2 had two n filled states now what happens when the atoms in the outer shell electrons interact the energy level now splits the energy level splits and we will draw like this this was a discrete energy level and this is the splitting which is taking place and here we take if we take this as a measure of proximity this is the distance if we go in this direction the distance is increasing between the atoms and in this direction the proximity is increasing and the distance is decreasing so as they move closer to each other there is splitting and this is what happens there are as a result there were 2n filled states here 2n filled states here and 4n empty states here so what happens finally you get 4n filled states and 4 n empty states so the filled states are called the valence band this we'll call as the valence band and the empty states sorry this is yes this is the valence band and this is called the conduction band band so the whole semiconductor electronics is based on this concept and how 
now the conduction take place how the current flows in the semiconductor as compared to the conductors in the semiconductors as we said there are bands so this is the valence band and this is the conduction band the energy gap in case of silicon between these two bands is about 1.1 electron volt and when there is increase in temperature there is excitation in the bonds and the electrons the electrons acquire energy and they jump from the valence band to the conduction band so as a result hole is created here and you have electron in the conduction band so number of holes and electron remain the same they are created and destroyed in in a semiconductor so but when the electric field is applied you get them move across the electric field electron moves against the electric field hole moves in the direction of electric field and you get the current in case of conductor we we have seen that with the increase in temperature there is inc there is increase in the resistance but in case of semiconductor the effect of increase in resistance is largely largely subsumed by the availability of more eh pairs because of high temperature so with the rise in temperature you have more current because there are more number of e and h pairs we also know that j is equal to sigma e j is the current density is i upon a and sigma is the conductivity we write sigma as j upon e and j we write as n e v now this sigma becomes n e v upon e and v upon e is written as mobility so in case of semiconductor we have both electrons and holes which contribute to the flow of current and mobility of both is different so we have to write in like in case of conductor we simply wrote like this but semi for semiconductor we have to write sigma is equal to n e e mu e plus n e e is the charge here you can take the positive charge but we'll write n holes this is n holes into mu holes so this is the conductivity in case of semiconductor so from the band theory we understood that there are two bands and the conduction takes place when you get electron hole hole pairs and because the energy gap of 1.1 elec 1.1 electron volt is not very high in case of semiconductor that is silicon we can get electron hole pairs uh, uh, at the room temperature also and we can have the conductivity which is contributed by both electron and holes so that is all on the basics of the band theory thank you